welcome back to this new pizza to rate tutorial today we want to create a japanese neon scene with some temple and tree assets we will create some floor and neon materials and of course we will create some fog and some lights let's jump right in here we are on a fresh blender scene and today we don't use this cube but we want to bring in here our rust so let's go into the asset browser here Really quick, if you don't have this uh, little guy, I will put a link into the description. Um, so let's bring this to zero. And now we want to create here a new plane. And uh, this plane should be our floor. It is 25 by 50 meters. Let's change this here to floor. And we have to bring in here today uh, two assets so first let's save this one and open the other assets so let's go to open and i want to use here uh, this temple so when we're going into the material preview we can see everything is on it let's select this one and press ctrl and c let's go back into our start scene and press ctrl ctrl v uh, let's hide here the floor for now because I want to bring the temple into the right direction. So let's zero everything out. Let's press 1 on the numpad, G and Z to bring this here in the uh, really center, maybe to something like this. Now we want to create a collection. So let's press M, new collection, underscore temple. And let's hide this for now and save it. And let's open the second one, uh, which is here a fur. So everything is right on it. Let's select these two, <laughs> bark and leaf, control C, and bring this into our scene here. Open recent, don't save. And copy and paste everything is good let's select the stuff here and an underscore tree now we're having everything which we need for today let's bring in here a new instance of our temple instance to scene and let's put the first one here into h by four uh, shift d and we want to go with minus eight by four the next one will be by 18 here in the y and let's duplicate and minus eight okay now we are having our templates let's start here with creating the material for the floor and uh, after that we will create the material the neon material for the temple and then we will start to bring in some lights and fog and um, our tree as well to create more depth let's bring this one here up and i want to change this to shader editor we want to create a new material maybe let's go to the material preview and that is our floor here today we can press ctrl shift and t to bring in the textures if this don't work the node wrangler plugin is not enabled so go to edit preferences and search here for wrangler and enable this one now you're able <laughs> to use ctrl shift and t and select here um, the tiles 90 we want to use the color normal dx and roughness and now as you can see the tiles are quite big so uh, to change this we have to go now and turn down or turn up the x scale to 20 and the y scale to 40 now we can see that's yeah, quite repetitive but first let's make here some changes i want to make it a little bit more uh, wet so let's search here for a ramp and bring in here the black slider so now we can see that uh, the cobble stones are a little bit more reflective and i want to increase the normal bam bump to 10 and now let's <laughs> have a look at the repetitive repetitiveness and yeah what we can do now is uh, duplicate uh, this principle bsdf by pressing shift and d and we want to use here a mix shader node bring this here in between and pipe the second one 
the second principle BSDF in the second slot here. Now, when we are looking at the mix shader, when we're turning the factor to one, only um, this shader will appear. And when we're turning this down, this shader will appear. One of the cobblestones will appear. And to mix them up, um, we have to use uh, another texture and this one is a noise texture. Now we want to bring in this noise texture into the factor. So let's pipe this one in. And to have a little bit more control, we need a color ramp. So let's pipe this in between. Uh, let's change here the color ramp to see a little bit more. So let's bring in these sliders into the center. And now we can see that we are having here, um, yeah, some stuff going on but i like to change here now the scale of the noise so let's go with 21 and increase a little bit the detail to 3.7 so that the edge is a little bit more uh, rough now that's starting to getting somewhere but um, i like to have this a little bit more reflective some kind of puddle stuff um, so uh, we have to go to our second shader change the base color to black bring down the roughness and now we can see that's uh yeah starting to see like puddles and i want to increase a little bit the metallic to 0.14 it's a little a tiny detail but I like to use this so okay yeah now we are done with the floor let's go ahead here with the temple to see a little bit more what is going on now we have to go into the rendering mode because we will use an emissive material so let's change this to render and i want to use cycles and change this to gpu compute let's turn back here on our temple and now we will go ahead and duplicate this one so let's press shift and d maybe let's go for this into the solid mode so a little bit more visible what we do uh, press shift and d and let's rename this to wireframe and we want to add here a wireframe modifier so let's go to wireframe the thickness is okay, but I want to turn down the offset to minus 0.9. So that is looking better now. Now we can yeah, delete the material from our wireframe temple. So let's do this and let's create a new one, which will be material neon. And to see a little bit more here now, we can pin this material here now. So let's do this. Now we can hide our temple. And now let's go back into the rendering. Nothing is really going on here now, but you can see barely here are some lines, but uh, maybe let's increase here the transmission or the emission to white. And now we can see here that our temple has some cool outlines, but for me, it's a little bit too much outlines here on this stuff going on. And to change this, I like to uh, use here a color ramp to bring in a little bit more colors now um, into the emission. And to make it a little bit more random, let's use here Fresnel and bring this here into the factor. Now you can see that starts that the lines are not everywhere here now. Maybe let's change this one to 1.75. And now we can have some fun here with the colors. So uh, let's start here with a pinkish one. So I like to use uh, this hex code here for the pink. I want to bring in a new color, press the plus, and I want to use here this blue and bring another color, which is a purple. So we want to use this one here and I want to bring these a little bit together here but you can play always here with the sliders and i want to push down the black slider to have a little less color here from the purple and now we can increase the emission strength up to 500 and now it starts to getting somewhere and maybe let's turn out the light here uh, let's go ahead now we can leave uh, the material here right now now we can change here um, the camera for the first position. I will do 
this time two camera angles because another angle can be fun as well. Let's go into the camera pressing zero on the numpad and I want to go with zero by minus 5.7 by 1.5. Let's change the X rotation to 100 by zero by zero. And I want to turn down the focal length to 19. And maybe let's make another viewer here for today. And I want to bring in here the PASP2. You display PASP2 to black. And now we will work here on the right side. So uh, let's make madcap random. Let's start here with uh, the light. So let's bring back this light and I want to change this here to a light bluish color because we want to create a, uh, yeah, a night scene and uh, this light is an area light. We'll bring this into uh, the back here to 0 by 53 by 16 and rotate this minus 90 degrees to our side here now and change the rest to zero that's okay and now we have to change here the rectangle size so let's go with 7.5 by 2. we're having here some light now going on but there's no much depth and something like that so how we can create this with fog obviously let's bring in here a cube this one should be 40 by 100 by 50 so everything is surrounded um, by our uh, cube here let's rename this to fog yeah and i want to create a new material as always we don't want to use the principle bsdf volume scatter and bring this to volume and now let's turn down here these white to gray i want to turn down the density to Point one. Yeah, and as you can see, it's a little bit grayish here right now. And to change this, we have to go here into the uh, into the world settings and change uh, the background color to something bluish as well. And I like to use here this color. But one uh, thing <laughs> which is really important now is to increase here the the power of our um, of our light. So uh, let's go ahead here with something like 50,000. Now we are starting to see uh, the fog and the light. And now we can go ahead and bring in here the trees to make uh, this a little bit more interesting. So uh, first let's select here this tree and bring this as an instance to the scene. And I want to push this now to nine by 30 in uh, the Y. Maybe let's toggle mode this year. Now we can see uh, our tree. And I want to scale this one up here really, really big. Maybe to something like seven, three-ish. Maybe something like this. And now you can start seeing here, we are creating a little bit more depth here with this tree. Maybe let's duplicate this this one here and change this to minus 8.5 by 32 and scale this a little bit down for some randomness uh, maybe something like 5.7 ish yeah you can play here with the rotation um, so that the trees look not the same and uh, now let's duplicate another one let's select this one here and i want to go with 5.5 by 42.4 and yeah, rotate this a little bit and scale this down as well so something like four but that's up to you how you want to set up here the trees and let's <laughs> do the last one here in the back so let's duplicate this one here again bring this over to minus point minus five and yeah, rotate this as you like and scale this maybe a little bit more down. Yeah, and we have a little tiny gap here in our floor to have there a little bit more landscape stuff. Uh, we can create actually a landscape and let's 
bring in this one. If you don't have uh, these landscapes here in the mesh landscape, you can go uh, here in preferences and search here for landscape and add the add mesh and ANT uh, landscape. And now I want to scale this a little bit up. So uh, 27 by 33.6 by 4.8 and bring this a little bit in the back. 36.5 and minus four in the X. So, and now we are having here some uh, landscape stuff here in the background. So it looks a little bit better. Um, here we're having here some details. That's that's cool. The last thing to create yeah, a little bit more focus here for the scene, we can use here um, the first as well or the trees here again. So let's duplicate this one and bring this here right into the front. I want to bring this here to 4.8 and minus 1.3 and change the rotation to minus 55.5, but <clears throat> that's always up to you. Um, and I want to scale this down here to 3.4. So we are having here a little bit more dark stuff in the front and a um, little bit more focus here on the path. Let's do the same thing here for the left side. So let's press shift D again and let's go with minus five and one minus 1.3 is okay. And the rotation is okay as well. That's okay here for this view now. And I like to increase a little bit more the contrast now. Let's go here into the render properties and go to the color management. And I want to increase the look uh, to a very high contrast or high contrast, but that's up to you. And um, as I said, I want to create another camera here now for another interesting camera view. So let's change the name to maybe A and Shift and D to B. We have to go into the camera view by pressing this button. And now let's change here uh, the coordinates to 2.3 by minus 4.5 by 1.3 and change a little bit the rotation to 98 by 13. And I think that's another uh, really cool and interesting camera view and maybe you will find another one so <laughs> uh, you can always try to get other views. As you can see here sometimes you will get here uh, the reflections of our uh, of our backlight here to hide this you can go into the visibility and change here the ray visibility and change the glossy off yeah i like to <laughs> have a little bit more of these white reflections here on the stuff to get rid of this um, maybe you have to change here the position height so the reflection will not be visible in the reflection so keep in mind that you have to have a look at this that was this tutorial and if you like my stuff check out and subscribe to my channel if you want to support me check out my blender market or gumroad page see you there and bye